What's up, YouTube? It's your boy in tech. Uh, today I'm just showing you my auto tune settings. I had a lot of people ask me, you know, they were like, hey, how you get your auto tune like that, cool? So basically, I'm just going to do this video for you to show everybody so I can just link them when they ask me. No, nah, but um, look, this is auto tune 5. Uh, there's a lot of auto tunes out by Interis. Uh, they got auto tune Evo four they got the uh it's a simplified auto tune they came out with but uh basically it's the same fundamentals for each one on this one just go to options uh look at this pitch tracking just turn it all the way to relaxed and that's basically the secret to it and this uh retune speed of course make sure it's all the way up to fast and that should be it that makes your you know your notes pick up real good in auto tune no matter what mic you're using or what voice you have and also the input type put it on bass because uh from my experience using it bass instrument makes the uh the auto tune pick up on most uh voice types and different microphone types and stuff like that if they have a higher voice you can go for low male voice or alto you know but it's basically the same thing for every other auto tune the tracking i know on the evo it's on the front uh up here somewhere but on there it seems like you have to put that tracking on choosy actually i have it let me see yeah on here yeah the tracking I usually put this one to choosy and it works better for some reason. But um yeah, just do it the tracking's here on this one. And the same thing applies bass instrument, make sure your routine retune speed is all the way up. And that should be it. And of course, don't use a chromatic scale because that means all of the notes are in here. None of them are bypassed. So it can't cut out any of the bad notes because all of them are in there. So make sure you're using major or minor chords for the most part. And please find the right key for your songs. When you record a song, go through the keys and sing, you know, sing some notes and make sure it's the right key. That way it won't sound bad. All right. And that's about it. If you have any more questions, oh, let me tell you about Humanize too. The Humanize... It makes the auto tune more smoother so it can be more of a pitch correction effect instead of just you know t-pain and uh basically you want to use humanize with a lower retune speed because if you have humanize all the way up and the retune all the way up it's not going to make a difference you're not going to hear the humanize on it so turn the retune speed down you know and then turn the humanize up a little bit and find a good mix so depending on who's singing it depends on you know where you set it and you can make a good nice type of pitch correction feel to where they can't hear auto tune is on there so that's about it and um if you have any questions hit me in the comments or send me a message or whatever and uh let me know if i need to do any more tutorials on anything else and I'll get back to them and make those videos. I'm about to do a lot of tutorials for different programs and stuff. So subscribe, hit me up, and I'll see you later. Peace.